Hello folks, welcome to Taste Buds on Yardy Belly TV. Hey, today we are using this beautiful Has Avocado to make guacamole. And here are my list of ingredients. I have it right here. So, one clove of garlic, half of a Vidalia onion. Yes, the sweet ones. You can use any onion you like. I have a jalapeno pepper one and I have a lime and I have some uh, tomatoes. I have a cumin, I'm gonna use ground cumin. I have my no salt seasoning and I also have some cilantro. Yes, guacamole. The first thing you want to do is to get your avocado out of the skin. And I'm simply using a spoon and my knife to just extract it out and get it out of the skin and clean it up because you know that sometimes when you open your avocado you have little bumps and bruises and blemishes on the inside make sure you clean up all of those because those will not make for a good avocado or good guacamole so cleaning up all of my avocado now and immediately you want to squeeze some lime on the avocado so that it doesn't oxidize and get brown so squeeze the lime immediately on your avocado i'm using half of the lime now i'm gonna squeeze the rest of it when i finish make my guacamole all right so squeeze your lime on make sure it's not oxidized Now we're moving to our onions and you can use any very variety of onions that you so choose you can use the red ones or the yellow ones or even the white ones i'm using the sweet one here and you're gonna finely dice your onions and make sure that nobody not bite any big chunk of onion when they're eating the guacamole and you're gonna just add your onions to the bowl and you're gonna pretty much do the rest with the same thing with the rest of ingredients and we're doing the same thing to the garlic you're cutting it fine and finely chop it uh garlic even is even more so worse than the onion in terms of people biting into it a lot of people don't put garlic in their guacamole but i like the flavor i like the taste and so i'm using garlic in mine all right Again, for a little bit of kick, you want to add some jalapenos, finely dice it, yeah, and it gives that little mmm, yeah. Now with my, my tomatoes, right, I'm taking out the inside part because I don't want the guacamole to be watery. I notice the seed area always make the, 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 the you know, add water to the, 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 the finish um, dish. So I'm removing the seeded area and just using the outer section of the tomato. And I'm going to julienne those and then finally dice them again and add those again to my mixture. And I'm just quickly rough chopping my cilantro. Yeah, because I don't want the big pieces of cilantro in it. I want it to be sprinkled all over the, the, the guacamole. So that's a rough chop it and then we're gonna add that too. Alright, and make sure you chop it finely. Alright. If you if you don't want the cilantro taste to come up in your mouth any at all, like you know, too strong, you do it that way there. Thank you. 
ground cumin is a must if you want to make authentic um, guacamole the cumin does add a nice flavor and you I put maybe about half of a teaspoon of cumin you put it to your flavor your taste and you just want to get your cumin in there because that flavor does make a difference I'm using the no salt seasoning because I'm trying to add flavor without adding too much salt I am gonna add a little bit of salt but I think the no salt um, seasoning has a nice richness that will allow for adding less salt you get what I'm trying to say so yeah put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt in it but me like the no salt flavor because it does causes you to use less salt so to speak yeah and i mixed in time now let me mix up the guacamole here because we're ready you understand oh yes i'm putting some za'atar as well which is a mediterranean spice and it have a little bit of hyssop in it this is just my preference you don't have to put that if you don't want to and you want to mix your um guacamole you know add in your blend up everything you don't want it too smooth you want it chunky the chunkiness is nice so i just mix it until you know everything is well incorporated but i don't necessarily mash out the avocado too too much i don't want it too smooth all right so mix it to your desired taste your desired um smoothness or thickness And here is my finished product guys. I'm presenting it with some corn tortillas and some garlic um, planting chips. Yeah. And you just put it with whatever you so choose. You can add it to your favorite sandwich. You can put it with eggs. Whatever you want, put guacamole in is up to you. I think it's nicely presented here. The garlic chips add a nice unique flavor. And the, the, tart the tortilla chips also is one of the classic elements that you use to eat guacamole. Enjoy your guacamole, folks. Yadi Belly TV member. Wow, so good. I can't wait. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Wow, guacamole, nice man. Mm -mm. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment as well. And remember to click the bell icon for notifications. Big up on yourself. Blessing.